are we singing actors or acting singers? Actually, we talk a lot about, uh, about this in our lesson. Uh, how do you think we get the audience to understand our, our intention or emotion? You don't want to explain what you're doing, what's behind. Um, you know, you can also go to a theater performance and sometimes you don't understand the clue and you think, what's this is going about? And you get a kind of little angry, you say, okay, well, why? <laughs> but sometimes you don't understand, but you can kind of feel your own story. Yeah. And I think that's important too, that audience can relate. And of, of yeah. course, it, it depends on if you do like Hugo Wolf for audience, they never heard it. It's difficult. But if you do like Rachmaninoff or Tchaikovsky songs, it's so melodic and it's so, it's always emotion, you know, and, and on sound. And people can actually enjoy it with, without that understanding every word. Yeah. But I think we, we also want to kind of educate our audiences a little bit. Yeah. So it is yeah. nice to, to, to talk a little bit because this also breaks the ice. Yeah. But that's very yeah. personal. Yeah. It's very personal. Of course, the old fashioned way is that there's booklets with the whole poems. And when you sing, you, you look at the... Uh, <laughs> so uh, you, you're an a anti-program book uh, team. Well, I'd rather have like a short explanation or a, or a summary or um, or give it afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> can can read, but of, of course I do understand also when people want to see the text. Yeah. Um, but I think also every every singer, every pianist, every duo has to kind of explore um, ways to to make it yeah. more clear. I, I'm not against anything. To be explored, I see. So often for young singers, if you are a singer like that, uh, your technique suffers from it. Yeah. When it's not solid enough, and then you kind of. Yeah. Uh, so technique first, and then. Put well, them. when you're when you're very young, make sure that. And of course, a technique is the tool to express whatever you want to express, but, but it has to be there. It's funny, like last week I saw, I saw a performance of very young, of quite young singers. Mm. And I saw one singer who was, I saw all these ideas were right, but he was just speaking it through because he didn't have the tool, the technique to, to sing it. And then for me, well, you know, also my, my belief that whatever you sing, if you, if it's, if it's on a good free breath, it's touching. Mm. And there are singers, it doesn't mind what they sing. I would say they can sing the phone book and it's still touching. And it's just the sound of it. Yeah. And that should kind of be the basic of, of anything you do. But that's my opinion, you know? Yeah. Probably are people who think differently. I, I mean, think... that's, 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 that's maybe apart from the, the subject now, but that's always, are we, are we singing actors or acting singers? You know, of course, uh, recital is more static. But uh, I know there are people who say you can't move when you yeah. do recital. It's, it has to be all in the voice. Uh, and yes, it has to be in the voice, but if, if I don't know what, your, your physicality help, can help to express things. And it depends on what, what song, if you do like Le Balladen or you do uh, songs and dances of death by Mussorgsky. <laughs> and you know, and death is singing. Then, then of course you will translate it physically. And when you just stand like this, then <laughs> it's, not, it's not really, but you know, that has been also, gen I think we all have to kind of respect other generation. I was in a, um, in a jury once in Graz, was very very good competition. And afterwards, there were uh, no feedback for the singers. 
and I was happy enough to give the feedback to get, together with another uh, jury member, which was Angelika Kirschlager. Mm. And she was very good in the, in the feedback. Mm. And I remember very well, she said, she, she said to one uh, young singer, and she said, you know, every generation has to find out their own uh, relation with, with the art song. So what, what maybe might have worked for a generation is now different. Yeah, to make it personal, I think also because the audience is also growing and um, they will start to like different things. And, uh, and I, think, I think from what I hear from you, then might be to perform art songs or to perform actually any kind of arts, you have to be really aware of, uh, of your surrounding, what's happening around you. Yeah. Um, how can we translate what's on the paper to be um, connected to to the audience or to the problems nowadays yeah. so kind of thing and often things we consider as how it has to be done we, we don't know <laughs> for, for example um, the french song or forêt was kind of totally undersung mm. like very very small and but if you go back and you listen to a Pantsera or a, a, what's his name, another, another tenor, who was very close to very early recordings, close to Foray, Pantsera even knew Foray. It's, they were opera singers. It was, it was quite singing. Just mm -hmm. there is a thing, you need an impeccable legato for this kind of music and a, and a good diction, but it's, it's not that it has to be. So, what we maybe maybe in Holland, maybe that's a Dutch thing we mm. think as how it should be done is a is a, a fashion which became much later. And even you know it yeah, so it, I think we have to kind of be aware that things develop. When Hanan Kur started with this whole uh you no know, pioneer of of music or yeah. music, I mean he, he he's not there anymore, but in that he changed himself. I think when he listened back to his very first recordings with out of tune hobos and <laughs> and and uh, uh, he said, I mean, he said himself, that can't be the way. But for them at that time, he so it was part of a development. I think. Yeah. Well, we always but, have to refine, yeah. to connect. <laughs> but I do believe that every kind of development has to come from a from a tradition and from a know what you're doing know what you so you have to kind of know about what's going on around and what yeah. the, the the historical context etc of course the joy of singing has to be kind of is important 